There's plenty of good prices about Neptune Colons this morning. He's been levered in through all rates. Two to one favourite he's going off, and Simon Holt is going to call him. It's the 29th running of the Bet365 Charlie Hall chase. They jump away with two circuits of the course here at Weatherby ahead of them. Iris's gift on the far side, one of three greys in the field, disputing the early running. Our Vic, who looked in tremendous form on the outside in the blue and green jacket, Jungle Jinx and King's Clip between the pair as they run down the side of the course. Long run to the first. Royal Emperor is back in fifth on the inside of Neptune Colange, the well back favourite. A yellow jacket with a red star on the body. Then Church Island, Sir Rembrandt the inside, take the stand out wide and out the back is Jalou Destreval. Into the back straight. Five fences down the back to be crossed and our Vic looks like lifting up in front over fence number one. Our Vic, Aris's gift on the inside and Kingscliff. They're all safely over a peck at the back from Jalou Destreval. The second is an open ditch. Avic, the far side of Kingscliff, near side Iris's gift as they take this. Then uh, a good jump there from Neptune Colange. Take the stand on the near side, one of the other greys, Royal Emperor in the maroon sleeves. Jungle Jinx on the far side in the green and white jacket as they clear the water jump. Church Island further back with Sir Rembrandt and finally Jaloux Destreval. On to fence number four. And this time the best jump from Iris's gift on the near side of Kingscliff. Avic, who was a bit fresh in the early stages, is back in third now. Then uh, Neptune Colange, a clear fourth, the five-year-old, followed by Take the Stand and Royal Empress Sir Rembrandt clearing the last in the back straight. Uh, Jungle Jinx, Church Island, and Jalou Destreval. Neptune Colange having gone off the two-to-one favourite, disputing third place at the moment. Uh, Take the Stand, the second favourite, nine-to-two, is in fifth place at, this, at present. Take the Stand looking much sharper for his first win at Plumpton first race back this season. Turning left-handed then, out of the back straight. And a much better gallop than in the early stages to the John Smith's hurdle. And it's Iris's gift and Dominic Ellsworth on the near side of Kingscliff and Robert Walford, followed by our Vic, Neptune Colange, Royal Emperor, and take the stand. And then Sir Rembrandt in the red and yellow jacket as they approach this open ditch. The leaders all take it well, pretty fluent. Royal Emperor perhaps just a little bit awkward on landing and gets a reminder there towards the right of frame. Jungle Jinx is further right. And Jalou Destra out the back, onto the next, a plain fence. Kingsford, Neptune, Pallon, rising together this time. With, uh, on the right, Iris's gift as they approach another plain one. Kings Cliff, Iris's gift, who so far has jumped well in third place. Neptune Colange then take the stand. Our Vic on the extreme left under uh, Timmy Murphy looking for his third winner of the afternoon. Sir Rembrandt Church Island held up in the nose band, struggling a bit. His Royal Emperor as they jump this fence in front of the stands. Jungle Jinx has jumped, dropped off the main body of the field and finally well out of it is Jalou Destravel. Kingscliff leads the way then, the runner-up last year. Kingscliff by a couple of lengths to Iris's gift. Neptune Colange and our Vic then take the stand. Sir Rembrandt Church Island. Royal Emperor outpaced along with Jungle Jinx and Jalou Destravel. Jim is watching and this is a strongly run race, Jim. Yep, it's put a premium on jumping and in the main take a stand, said a couple. But uh, the big guns so far have been relatively error-free. Kingscliff missed one down the far side but has been great since then. Iris's gift on the hole has been pretty good. There's still an awful lot to play for. This will be a true test as they run into the back straight. Five down the back, four more in the home straight after that. And as the legs grow weary, so the jumping comes under pressure. Kingscliff with on the near side Iris's gift. On the far side, our Vic. Neptune Colange right there between horses. A gap, a little gap to take the stand and Sir Rembrandt as they take the first down the back and the leading half dozen all take it fluently they're clear of Church Island who's now being chased along, Royal Emperor's further back with Jungle Jinx and Jalou Destreval. this is an open ditch, Kingscliff was very bold there, Kingscliff leads the way to Iris's Gift and Auvic and Neptune Colange, this is the water jump as they take it Kingscliff has about a length's advantage the others very close, the other three very close, Auvic 
on the left of your picture. On the extreme right, Iris's gift. Neptune Collange coming there strongly as they take another plain one. Take the stand, trying to catch up. Then Sir Rembrandt and the others are all looking a bit ragged now as they head towards the final fence in the back straight. And this is the fifth last they're coming to in the bet 365 Charlie Hall chase. Kingscliff kicked into it. Just leads to Neptune Collange, who just nodded on landing. Our Vic still travels very well under Timmy Murphy. About to have his stamina tested. Iris's gift now gets a couple of reminders there from Dominic Ellsworth. They're a long way clear of Sir Rembrandt, and it's Sir Rembrandt's stable companion, Kingscliff, who leads the way, turning out of the back straight. Kingscliff with chased along in second place. Neptune Collange on the inside. Our Vic still travels very well indeed. And they're clear of Iris's gift and Sir Rembrandt, and the others are well and true sorted out, truly sorted out. They're homeward bound then, with four left to take. Kingscliff taken on by Neptune Collange and Alvik on the near side as they run down to the final open ditch. Kingscliff runs out of steam. Alvik, a great job there over the final ditch. Lands about two or three lengths clear and full of running of Neptune Collange. Then Kingscliff, who just seems to have blown up, followed by Iris's gift, running down to the third last. And it's Alvik who's pulling clear. Alvik comes in to take it, jumps it soundly from Neptune Collange in second. Kingscliff back in third. Iris's gift back in fourth. And then Sir Rembrandt, two fences left to jump. Stamina has been an issue in the past with our Vic, but he's still travelling very well. Neptune Collange lands in second, a good seven or eight lengths down now. Then Kingsliff, who's rallying very bravely from Iris's gift, and Sir Rembrandt is staying on. But there's surely only one horse in it if he clears the last fence cleanly. Our Vic shortens up. He's over safely. Just looks a little tired now on landing. But Timmy Murphy's looking round for dangers as they run up the running and it's Arvik still on the bridle here. Neptune Collange Sir Rembrandt is running on very strongly but Arvik is going to hack in here. A treble for Timmy Murphy. Arvik wins the Charlie Hall. In second Neptune Collange Sir Rembrandt stayed on stoutly as ever in third. Kingscliff got very tired in fourth but ran well for a very long way. Then Iris's gift. Take the stand. Drips and drabs behind those. Church Island. Jungle Jinx. Jalou Destravel and pulling up was Royal Emperor. Six to one this winner, Arvik. So often an enigma in the past. He was at his very best today. Neptune Collange. Third number four, Sir Rembrandt. And the fourth horse was number one, Kingscliff. Timmy Murphy racks up a 590 to 1 treble, winning on Arvik at 6 to 1. Second, Neptune Collins sent off 2 to 1 favourite. And third, old Sir Rembrandt at 10 to 1. And the Murphy masterclass continues.